Hey, we're back with another Let's Wait on the Pizza to Get Here podcast. Yummy! It's sacrilegious. Crap. I've already said it twice. Every single freaking time. So, you know, before we really get started, I think we should explain the sacrilegious, because it's been going on for how many years now on yes. between this channel and the last? Let's track our pizza. I think we did explain it once, but it's worth explaining it again. Yeah, because I don't think we've done it since the new channel has gone up. So by the way, estimated delivery time is 5.07 to 5.17, and it's currently 4.35. Which is good, because we're also waiting on the Final Fantasy IV speedrun to start on uh, Awesome Games Done Quick, so if that starts before the food gets here, this is officially over. Bye-bye. So, because <laughs> that's what I've been waiting for all week. My love of making our pizza. And we get share our occasion, get twenty five percent off again. <gasps> but anyway, we'll we'll explain the sacrilegious joke here, and it's pretty pretty simple if you pay attention to The Simpsons. Or at least the did Simpsons. The Simpsons when it was good. Yes, which was a long time ago. But um, they had a episode in which Bart threw a waffle on the ceiling. Well, isn't it tr like part of the episode is where Homer decides he doesn't want to go to church anymore? Um, is it that one or I don't know if it and was or not. And then he creates not. his own religion. He does create his own religion, but I don't think it's this episode. It's not that, okay. But, they um, all start merging. At yeah, some they point. do. <laughs> um, no, this isn't the one where he makes his own religion. I don't remember what it because it was. He was complaining about something that had happened, and he's like, "That's not God. That's just a waffle that Bart <laughs> threw up on the ceiling." And he goes. I know I shouldn't eat the, but... Oh, oh. Mm, sacrilegious. And ever since then, that has just been... So, you know, that's kind of a... What's that word for a mashed up word? Where you take two words and make a new word? Um, so it's like sacrilegious. Mashalicious? Sacrilegious, mm -hmm. which means like you, you're doing Sacrilege. something abominable to whatever religion. Uh-huh. Like eating the waffle that you think is God. Correct. <laughs> it's like, oh, no, I shouldn't eat and the... delicious, which is, you know, mm, so good. <laughs> so sacrilegious. When you eat something delicious, that is an abomination. <laughs> <laughs> I know I shouldn't eat thee, but sacrilegious. That's the uh, this is the episode when stop it I don't want that episode. Okay, it's the episode when he goes to the football game and becomes Flanders like best friend for a while and oh, Flanders yeah. hates it. <laughs> That's what episode it was. So a very. Uh, Funny. Well, of course, most of the episodes from that time period were quite hilarious. Unlike now, where they're just like rehashes of pop culture. Yeah, it's like what musician can we have? Like they had Ed Sheridan on there for Lisa to fall in love with last week. So good. <laughs> they're doing what South Park is doing and just making fun of pop culture. Yeah, but like you know what I mean? Like instead of like doing original. You know, commentary. It went away from the family a long time ago. Yeah. But it was, I mean, that was bound to happen. Well, after a while, you do every storyline possible. Because it's like, how long can you give the hint that they're poor and have no money and Well, that's the whole problem afford. with Roseanne. Yeah. It was like, after a while, what can you do? They're poor, they have no money. <laughs> you can have them win the lottery. Well, apparently, that's coming back. It is coming back. They've shown the video. All of them came back, even... Uh, the one that's on Big Bang Theory. Yeah, all of Leonard. Yeah, he came yeah. back. Well, I mean, Leonard not is a character. Right, but special. I guess he's not in much of. But I guess it's just like, oh, he's there. Um, that seems to be a very popular trend right now. It's like mm -hmm. bringing back a bunch of these old TV shows. Thanks, Fuller House. Well, I don't think it's just that. I think it's millennial. Like, uh, like we're on the edge of whether or not we're millennial. Right, we are definitely like right before the. Yeah. We're still gener. Well, do they consider Generation X part of the millennials? We're actually we're this subgenre. Like we're in between. We're we're in between those two. Like we don't have our own real name. <laughs> we were just the trash that they threw out. Because <laughs> we're like too old to be millennial, but too young to be Generation Xers. Like it's weird. 
But apparently our generation, we're now coming into money. Like I, And I'm like, where is this money? I, was say, I, don't, I don't have any. But anyway, we're, we're the main consumers now. They're, they're bringing back all of our favorite TV Like on series. Arby's commercials and whatnot when yeah. it's like all that stuff. Yeah. So um, I guess... Um, Bruno Mars with his early 90s finesse song, which is like everything yeah. from... 1989 to 1992. There was something else that they're bringing, like Netflix and a few other people are bringing back some old series. I can't remember what it was. Well, they did, and of course they have the Toys That Made Us that's out yeah. right now on yeah. all of our old stuff. Light Bright. Light Bright. Light Bright. I don't, don't remember any more of it. Light. I have one. That was almost still, harmony there. I know. I still have my Light Bright in the attic at Mom and Dad's house, along with all of my G.I. Joes. Because when I get the uh, the room over yonder that we normally re- used to record in, finally done, I, I'm like, Dad, when you can come over, help me finish this. Oh, no, bro, bro. I'll be <laughs> right over. And then I informed Dad of, the, days of literally, after this weekend, I have officially zero weekends that I have any day but Sunday available. <gasps> oh, they're baking. <gasps> they moved on mm. to baking. They better. I want a pizza paddle. Ow! It's a paddle to the face. What's a pizza paddle for? It was used for <laughs> a pizza paddle. From the it's a bone. <laughs> oh wait! I was trying to do the the fry thing from wherever Fry goes to the like museum. Like fry, like fry. <laughs> and he finds the pizza paddle, and it's like his pizzeria. Yeah, his pizzeria. <laughs> so, I have a topic for you. Okay. What are your favorite TV theme songs that have lyrics? Oh. David the Gnome was one as a kid. Oh, that is look well, well, you know. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Uh, let's see, so that one is... Hold on. And we, I don't want to count The Simpsons, because they just have, like, No, the I'm not Simpsons. counting that one anyway. Yeah, that, that. Although I do like the, the, the theme song. Although they cut it down to, like, 10 seconds now. Yeah, they... Ooh, this is some 80s goodness. Oh, I know. <laughs> well, our, gosh, when did Nickelodeon start? 1986 or something? Yeah. I mean, this was like what was on when we were kids. It almost has a never-ending story vibe. Yeah! You're still too heavy there, buddy. <laughs> yeah! We're going down. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, poor Swift. At the end, he has no family left until he finds Aww. his... It's like the last... And they all turned into trees. I know, it died. <laughs> I remember when seeing that as a kid and just not getting it. That they died? <laughs> yeah. What I mean, everybody's favorite guy, Tom Bosley, is David the Nose. <laughs> That's such an odd voice acting I know. choice. The Nose. No. I can't hear <laughs> notes. So, I would have to say my favorite one would probably be Cheers. I really like Cheers. I used to know how to play that on the piano. I always feel like they took some of that from Billy Joel's Piano Man. Yeah, I can see that. Because it's about kind of like bar type things. This is a good song. It's not hard on the piano. I like when they had the flaming mo on, on the senses. <laughs> and you wanna go where everybody knows your name. But not my name. Norm! <laughs> we had that joke at the lunchroom, or in the teacher's lounge. <laughs> Yesterday someone came in and the principal goes, Norm! And half of them didn't get it because there's... They're young. Yeah, and I was like, I just realized I'm not the youngest person where I teach anymore. <laughs> it was depressing. You know, when I was at Stonewall for so many years, I was one of the younger. I'm realizing I'm becoming an old funny dummy. I know, we are. It's happening. <laughs> day by day. So another really good one, I think, is the Gummy Bears. 
Oh, I love that one, yeah. I mean, DuckTales is pretty much obvious, so we won't even really go to it because no. everybody knows that one. I wish they would remake the Gummy Bears like, yeah. and do it more like Avatar The Last Airbender style where it was like a story arc. Yeah. I mean, this is like the epitome of awesome of the early she 80s. Been daring, courageous, and caring. Wow, he knows this. <laughs> I used to watch this. Well, so did I. It was the first syndicated cartoon. Well, specifically for syndication. Yeah, from Disney. That's a here and there and everywhere. High adventure that's beyond compare. They are the gummy bears. But this was like the, the test to see if you could syndicate a cartoon and it worked. With the same quality as their And, and then DuckTales became the significant one. Yeah. Now well, you got your harmony. Gummy bears. Bouncing here and there and everywhere. High adventure. We definitely wouldn't be monetizing this if we were they are the gummy <laughs> I'm Disney being in my house. <laughs> They'd be like, they wouldn't be knocking. <laughs> it's kaboom. <laughs> oh, we hear them. <laughs> oh, no. What did I just click on? No. <laughs> um, let's see. What's another one? Okay, so you got the classic ones like um, Golden Girls and Friends, which uh -huh. were, you know, like, we're not going to go into those. Um, what is another? I've got one? one if you're ready. Yeah, go ahead. While you're thinking. I'm thinking. I'm just going to play it. Hey, Paisanos, it's the Super Mario. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, <laughs> I used to wake up every morning to watch this. This is back when rap yeah, it was brand new. Yeah. It's like, what's up, dogs? You're white, so you got to. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I, this was the show when I was... That was the show. See, when I was in first grade, you know, they had the uh, the books. You know, you could order the books from the little Mac... Like, the, yeah. I don't remember what it was. Scholastic? Yeah, Scholastic. And Scholastic had VHSs of the Mario Brothers Super Show. And I and I bought the one where Koopa turns into Godzilla, and then they have to have Mario become it, and they sit and fight and destroy the place. Kind of like Rampage. Yeah. I remember that episode. Uh, and then I, one Easter, I got one that had like three episodes on it and everything. I was so... I remember watching it on Sundays before church in the evening. Like, it was on in the afternoon yeah. on some random show. Probably USA. I think it probably was. And Cartoon Express, when they had all that stuff, all those shows that used to be on Saturday mornings. Like It had like Pac-Man and G.I. Joe and everything else. This one doesn't have lyrics to it per se, but it does have dialogue, would be the Smurfs cartoon from back in the day. And it, it's pretty scary. Like, it's like its own mini episode. So, like, you watch Gargamel try to get the Smurfs, and he almost has the upper hand, and then they get away. Like, it basically is the structure of every single episode. Oh, gosh, I forgot that the, the night, like, Pee Wee, and what was the other one? Because I used to remember that from the movie. They had like a made-for-TV movie, and it was where I used to live in Charleston. There was a, oh, they're boxing it now. Oh, yes, putting it in the box. Sweet, because um, the food fair near our house, or not food fair, Foodland, we would, they had rentals right up front. So as soon as you know, yes. you walk in, I'd be like, and then they had the match, and it didn't work. The tracking was off on it. When I got it home, it wouldn't play. Oh. So, but they they had another one, and we went back and got it. But I remember it was something about a flute. I don't remember anything else about it. So here's their theme. Yeah, we would so be getting sued if we tried to monetize. <laughs> it. I guess it does have lyrics. No, just what are you smurfing, Smurfs? <laughs> Smurf. This is not necessarily the one I was thinking of, maybe. Here. This is the one I remember. Okay. The one I was talking is like they're, uh, like, after this, look up their opening. Because Gargamel, like, casts the spell and it's, like, very. Here it is. This might be the long version. Dun, dun, dun. So I can eat you! No, that's not what I was thinking of. But there, there's a short opening version of this. This is the one I remember. 
But it's probably because uh, I used to rent that video. Yeah, look all up the, the opening sequence, title sequence, I think is what it's called. And it's only like maybe 20 seconds long or whatever, but it, it it's actually a little more dark than... Yeah. It was Go-Go Chili's. Bells? Go-Go Bells? It even had Hanna-Barbera. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is it. I remember this one too now. Got your French horns to start out. I, I love, remember this one now too, yeah. just looking at the video. And there's a fa la 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 yeah. like you were talking. Here it goes. No, I remember. Yeah, and like, they almost like, all die. <laughs> From Mountain to Shore! Is it back when people thought things like Black Cauldron were appropriate for children? Yep. <laughs> of course, now nothing is. <laughs> Don't cut the grass, because you're going to hurt somebody. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! I don't even know what that is. Okay. Oh, that was the season five intro to Smurfs. Oh, there, see? Yeah, from 1995. <laughs> Do you remember when they went 85. and time traveled? No. And, like, they went back in time and there were dinosaurs and stuff? No, I don't remember that one. Oh, you don't remember? That was, like, toward the end of the series. I probably quit watching it by then. Yeah. But here's another one that I really like from the 80s. Of course, I've left, like, Transformers and oh, G.I. Yeah. Joe out, but those are the ones that it seems like everybody always talks about. So here is a show that I watched... All the time. Not gonna. I'll talk about it afterwards. And and oh yeah. Friends are the... like how Garfield's just like, nope, we're not gonna have it. But however, that's the original that people don't know at all. Which I actually don't like that version. There are two versions of Garfield and Friends opening. This is the better one. See the difference? Yeah. This is the one I remember. Yeah. I go go bell. <laughs> I like how you hear, I'm scared, from Wade, that stupid duck with the life preserver. <laughs> And Garfield just died. I never did like the U.S. Acres all that much part, though. Oh, really? I liked it as a good, like, break. But did you ever get the joke, though, with Orson, the pig, and who he's supposed to be, he's, they made him based on? No. Orson Welles. Oh. Where he was the big fat man, so it's... I did not get that. Yes, because they always... But I didn't know who Orson Welles is as a child. Because, like, in the Garfield Thanksgiving, he's like... By your weight, I judge you are Orson Welles for Garfield. <laughs> it's like, I have seen all of your movies. I'd say that, didn't he end up being like a, going into commercials mm, and stuff? Yes, these fish sticks are delicious. So that's where they got the idea for Brain from Pinky and the Brain was from those. <laughs> but um, I have Hulu, says my father. <laughs> yes. It's taken him a long time to put this in a box. I know. Almost as long as it took it to bake. How long does it take to box a pizza? Well, there, there's two. How true. Okay, Dad, why do you want to know this? We're in the middle of a recording. He's, he's, of course, when Dad texts, it's like... Tch. Yeah, one letter at a time. My dad does the voice to text now because he can't spell. Tim does the same thing. Yeah. When I, he'll be doing stuff like, what, just tell me. Just call me at that point. I know. <laughs> like, How much does it cost? I don't remember. It's nine ninety nine a month, I think. Around $10. Just say around $10 a month. It's either that or 12 I something. think it's like that. Hulu went up. Or not Hulu. Netflix. Netflix did. went up. I think Hulu is around $10 a month. It's actually cheap. Like, if you think about what you get. I get, wonder why mom and dad want it. Maybe to watch Golden Girls and stuff. Well, there's a new, there are a couple of new TV series coming out just for Hulu. But anyway, if you figured out another, I'll have to wait a second, yeah. I guess. Um, I was thinking of, um, this is going with the whole Disney afternoon type mm-hmm. thing, but Tailspin. Tailspin had a really, a had really a really good, good one. Theme song. 
Tailspin was a good show. I didn't like it when it first came out, but I liked it when I got a little older. I I think that's true of a lot of those time periods. But I never liked the Jungle Book either. I think that's why I really kind of didn't get into it. I think that these are targeted for a very specific age group, mm-hmm. and unless you're in that age group, no, I like I like it now. Yeah, like if I were to go back and watch it, I'd be like Darkwing Duck. See, I don't know if I I need to rewatch that too because I didn't like that when I was playing. You didn't like Darkwing Duck? Oh. oh my gosh, I loved it. You get a lot more of the jokes now. I've watched some of it and go. <laughs> Something I need to do that I haven't done is I need to go watch the new DuckTales scene. Yeah, I've, I've heard mixed reviews about me it. Me too. I like the first I like the, I watched the first episode and I haven't seen anything since. I like this clip. Oh, oh, oh. Tailspin. See, I like the kind of like 1940s type thing they do with Tailspin too. Yeah, yeah. With the Art Deco and all that stuff. I... Oh, it's for me. Dad said he could do it through Sprint for free or something. Might be limitations. I don't use it enough for there to be limitations. I mean, I watched it a little bit over the... Some of the Hulu stuff you can watch for free, but you have, like, mega commercials. Right. And then some stuff you actually have to have the subscription for. Let's see here. Better ingredients, better pizza. Papa John. <laughs> Got another one here. This is from uh, everybody's favorite TGIF. <gasps> you gotta have at least one from that if I can... Well, depending on which one you have, I have another one. Oh, well, hold on. There we go. This would be Perfect Strangers. Oh, I love Perfect Strangers. Oh, I think that might be one of those that they're remaking. Oh, my God. They're like, oh, well. I miss how these old sitcoms. Yeah. I wish more TV shows would have actual theme songs. Oh, but... but <laughs> this was the first TV show that I watched mm-hmm. that went off the air. And that's when I first realized that TV shows ended. Yeah. And it freaked me out because I was like, oh, my favorite movie, our TV shows are going to end. They're still boxing. It's not Boxing Day. This would be a pretty neat TV or a a band show. It's just doing a bunch of TV (laughs) You could do medleys of songs per decade. Oh, it's hurting me. Sorry. (laughs) Maybe, oh, it's on its way. Yay! It's a bumpy ride. <laughs> it's a little wet and icy. Boo! Okay. Here's another one from that uh, same block of TV. So it's Step by Step. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Step by Step. I like the New Kids on the Block Step by Step song. Yeah? Much, much more than I... I didn't like Step by Step all that much. The TV show is okay, but like the theme song was fun. And the opening with them being on the roller coaster, mm-hmm. that was always cool. I like that. Step by step, day by day, day, by day. fresh start over, different everything. I think it's the same in the later seasons. It's just... Probably shorter. Well, I know they always started with the roller That Doesn't it? We always watched it, but I mean... Definitely more of a 90s. Yeah. It almost has like a Bon Jovi sound, to, like voice to it or something. Now, I don't know who that Tina Turner's smoking. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, drinking. <laughs> we did, I mean, we watched this. I mean, TGIF, we watched all the way up until high school. When it kind of went off the air. Well, it, did, it stayed on quite a while after that. It's just, they changed shows like every year. They... It when Full good. House and and then the last few years of Family Matters got weird. Yeah. That's the problem with American television is they will run something until it's dead. Into the ground. Yeah. Whereas any other culture, they have like, you have like three seasons, finish your story arc, and it's over. Like, 
We're one of the few cultures that keep running things even after Like, it's... the Simpsons ran so far into the ground, it's, like, not a thing anymore. Like, it doesn't exist. Now, I do have to play this even though everybody knows it, and already knew, and this is nothing new, but I have to do this. Okay, I'm cool with it. And once I can spell right. I just saw a picture of Megatron with breasts. <laughs> That's the biggest non sequitur uh, I've ever uh, heard. Just, uh, uh, <laughs> oh, Here we my. go. I hate G.I. Joe's theme. Oh, yeah. However, the movie one. Now, this was so iconic because it was what they used for the toy sale, too. This is one of the few early cartoons that was more about selling toys. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because when they thought about selling the toys and they killed them all off, we were all like, <gasps> so that you could buy more toys. Yeah, but that's not what kids were thinking. They're like, no. you just killed our beloved characters. They should just come up with new costumes, like new paint styles or something. Or not kill off the originals. That's what I'm saying. It's like, we just slightly change their color coding or something. Well, they could have come up with new characters, just don't kill the old ones. Yeah. This, however... It's still one of the best little themes ever. And this is G.I. Joe the movie. It's still the 80s. I love this movie. It's cheesy as crap, but... This theme... I remember when, the first, when I saw this, my cousin rented it when, it when I had to stay down there with him a lot. It has a spyish theme to it. Like, you know, it didn't come out in the theaters because of how Transformers... Yeah. And they even changed, because Duke dies originally in this, and they changed it. Good for them. <laughs> well, it's very obvious that he should be dead. He's like, he well, survived! He, he died in his arms, but they're like, he's slipped into a coma after that snake goes through his heart. <laughs> like, this is a lot better intro than what we were getting on TV. Ooh, I like the paratrooping. And they spent all this money. The frame rate, though, you could always tell was lowered on this because there was so much crap they were doing by hand. I mean, there's balloons Ooh, going through the air and paratroopers. And, and the animation was just so amazing in this movie compared to the TV show. Who's going to turn that tide? Yeah! A real American hero. And I love how, you know, the new characters they made. Don Johnson played the played him because of course he did. Wherever there's trouble over land and sea and air. And of course Cobra's got to retreat because that's what they do. Destro. That's well animated too. Yeah. Like little saxophones going. Some I mean, people consider some of these 80s cartoons like that um, inspiration for anime in the late 80s, early 90s. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot so of... By our... the way, it's 5.04, and the pizza should be here between 5.07 and 5.17. They'll probably make it. A battle cry. Yo, Joe! Yo, Joe! Now, they didn't make it last time. No, they didn't. Work over. I love the, like the explosions in Cobra Commander's mask. You all can't see this because I don't want my channel taken down. Oh, I like that keychain. I sold the toys to you on television. Look, it's like the only time you see Snake Eyes in the entire thing because they were dumb and didn't put him in it. I mean, I know he doesn't talk, but still. He's like everybody's favorite. And all it's funny, like they thought his character was like nobody would like it, and it was like <laughs> one of the best selling. And it was you know, <coughs> just that faceless kind of thing uh -huh. they did. And that's dead. Cobra! It's such a shame that he died young. Yeah. Grab the flag. You know he was the original Montgomery Burns on The Simpsons. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, he was. The first couple of episodes. He, he is Montgomery Burns, Chris Latta. And then it didn't work song. out because he was hard to deal with because of his issues, and they ended up having it change. Now, this one I'm not, I, I don't think we need to play, but it, it is worth mentioning because it's more of a modern one, uh -huh. like or mid-90s one. 
is the Pokemon theme song. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. I mean, Pokemon's <laughs> the greatest thing ever. I do like food. some of it, but not much. Oh, you know what? Uh, <laughs> this Legend of Zelda cartoon. <laughs> oh, my God. That's not a good one. No, no, no. Excuse Princess. Uh, I did like that cartoon when I was. I looked forward to Fridays. I wish they would actually come up with a, like a modern. Kiss me, princess. No. That's the only time Link had a voice. Yes. Ooh, there's dogs barking. Could it's that mean five oh six? They're a little early. early. Could it be early? No. <laughs> Something's coming. I don't know what it is, but it is gonna be great. Gonna be great. Well, I'm not gonna play the. So, uh, what do you like in a theme song, like a TV theme song? Hey, excuse me, princess. Well, excuse me, princess. <laughs> it's just all the times they said it. <laughs> Excuse me, I have to have a catchphrase. Excuse what do I, I, me. I think it kind of has to, I like full orchestration type stuff yes. or like, or the 80 synthesizer type thing. I'll give you an example of one I used to really like, even though I didn't watch the TV show that much because it was really for girls and you didn't do that back then, but it was on USA Cartoon Express right before G.I. Joe, oh, so yeah. I would always uh, turn it on, you know, in the middle of it because it was G.I. Joe and I watched it every night. And I think right before it was like Pac-Man, and I liked that too. Pac-Man was really good. I enjoyed Pac-Man. But uh, this was a good example of a good way to do stuff back then. I mean, I liked the... It is. It, it just screams 1985. What's this from? Jim and the Holograms. I remember I was always like, wow, why don't they make something like this for boys? Because, <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it was on... I remember the the uh, dolls and everything and they would yeah. play this in the background and I was like where's our version of this kind of like girls wanted their version of He-Man which was She-Ra yeah. and she had the better theme song no she did she really did <laughs> and she had, and, oh here it comes <gasps> oh it's 508 hello I felt like I heard aha start there for a second. It, it, I think something did start there. Well, our food has been delivered. That was fun. Which means that this podcast has ended. So, this has been Chris. And Adam. I hope you've enjoyed, and we're going to eat food, and wa- oh, and look what just ended. Yes! It's perfect. perfect it's, t- it's time for some Final Fantasy IV awesome games done quick. See you later, everybody. Bye.